Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I thought I'd show you something that I didn't show before here. A button. B button. Yeah, they all both have each individual sounds, but you might not notice that when you're hitting them both together like so. <laughs> I'm gonna carefully select my save file here without touching the other ones like before, so as to not spoil things, and this is where we would usually end up, and then I'd end up starting to complain about mail, but not this time! Not this time, I had a different intro in mind. <laughs> Space Storm, Galaxy, one more star is a go! For now. <laughs> to the top of Top Man's Tower. Woo! And man, this place sure looks familiar, doesn't it? Hmm... Can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe the music will jog my memory a little bit here. Yes. <gasps> it's... It's Bowie Base Galaxy! The legendary music! My favorite music from Galaxy 1 has returned! And yeah, this place is indeed a remade version, I guess you could say, with different elements of buoy based Galaxy from Galaxy 1. And this is the new element! Oh, well, one of the new elements, we can slow down time! And suddenly, the fast is slow, but we stay fast. <laughs> so we're just gonna trans- you know, we just kinda transcend time any time that we please. Not that we need to to get past those amps, but, you know, that's something that we can do, and woohoohoohoo! Look how high we can fly! I cannot get those star bits. Until now! <laughs> Good times. <laughs> okay, so you can actually skip this, in this section entirely by- oh, maybe this isn't the one you can do it at. Well, maybe that's not the one, but yeah, you can do some fancy jumps to skip this entirely, but I'll show you the normal way. Um, watch this gate. Watch the speed of this gate. See, it looked like it's slow, just like the rest of the things, right? So you think if you hit this switch over here, while time isn't slowed down, it'll move at a faster pace, right? No! The gates, too, transcend time! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try my backflip idea over here. I think- Ah, this was the one! Yeah, you can now just run up here completely and skip the whole place. <laughs> but let's just continue on normally. <laughs> so yeah, that, that other one that I first tried getting up onto, not the place. <laughs> uh, before I hit the- ah, Before I hit the switch and continue. You know what, maybe actually I should hit the switch before I continue, because I'm gonna- I'm going against- the grain of the treadmills here. <laughs> and now we have a sentry beam. Oh no! Or at least I think they're sentry beams, but I think they're actually easier to. Does it say they're actually easier to avoid when it's faster because the beams move underneath you easier? And they turn into springs when you jump on them. How handy is that? There's a regular spring top man up over there, but I can't really. You know, access that in the moment, but we're we're getting there. We are getting there. Obviously, there's two ways to get around this thromp. Go over it when it's going quick, or go under it when it's going slow, or even over it. But watch it, then it would be four ways. You multiply two times two. <laughs> uh, going down. Woo! Uh, uh oh. I bet I know what this is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> they really, oh shoot, they really do not give you a lot of leeway on the time on these things. Oh boy, oh boy, I don't know if that was efficient enough. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, okay. Oh, this is, this is, oh shoot. <laughs> I'd be better off doing side flips to an extent. Yeah, I, hmm. But like, can I get it? Can I get the one up from this? Yeah, and Star Bits to boot! Yes! Yeah, star bits are the true reward. Okay, so again, you can <laughs> you can do pretty much all this fast, or you can do it slow, however you, however you please, basically. But it's pretty difficult to do this particular segment fast. Let me tell you, <laughs> you do stuff like that, basically. It, it, while it's doable, you probably want to do it slow. Look at that coins appear too. Isn't that interesting in, in the alternate dimension? 
Who knew that would happen? Oh, jeez! Spike top man. Oh, that was really quick. I, I all I did was knock them into the zappies. <laughs> you could do the same with that one, but then how the heck do you get that star? Well, it just respawns. <laughs> then you can get the star. So I think I gave you a nice 360 view of the Bowie Base Galaxy remix there. So let's head on over to the next galaxy. Maybe I could have put this in the last part. That that was a lot quicker. But I remember it. Then again, I was probably entranced by the buoy based Galaxy music, and I was like, oh, I, I don't want to leave here. And I was probably there for like two hours just listening to the music. <laughs> Alright, so that... We don't have the Silver Crown, obviously, so it's not completed. But... But... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, where, where to go? Oh, man. Well, mm, Well, this is technically the... Closest to I don't know it, it, no what, what's technically well, I'll go to sleep saying I was gonna say what's technically closest to the pipe that we come out of but they're all two spaces away <laughs> Squizzards Sandy Sneeko oh man I'll probably end up doing both of these stars this time because that went so much quicker than expected <laughs> so we got some moving sand. I don't want to say pillars, it's like a tube or... I, I don't know. It's not supporting anything, but yet there's some sort of gravity to it, so maybe it is it is supporting something. But yeah, it's like a river. Ch try and go upstream like a salmon, you, you can do that, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> You're gonna be doing this all day to get back to where you were, so let's not mess around with that too, too much. <laughs> Just go between the bars and take a look-see around where we can, like, say, on these things before we get to them, these rock rings, just, you know, because we have a nice view at them from a distance and get up and can see what the poop is a common without having to go in a full 360 for the most part. Oh, this room again, but it's probably going to be like a coin collecting. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't count on getting all these. Well, let's see. Okay. Still ch oh shoot! Still trying to be efficient here. Come on, Mario. We can do this. This is looking good, actually. Not, they're not even flashing. Wow, that, that was actually pretty lenient. Surprisingly lenient for one of those coin things. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Follow the coins or follow your nose. Well, I guess it, it would be both the same to Wario, because he follows the gold and he sniffs it out. <laughs> uh, anything hidden on this end ball of sorts? No, and I didn't see anything back the other way either, so... Oh, away we go! <laughs> oh boy, now we got black holes. This is sand. Looks to be an uphill battle. We're sinking. We're sinking-ish. Kind of. Well, not really. Those are pokey heads. Kind of hop along there, they have a good time, and you just spin at them if you want to knock them for a loop. Yeah, they tend to square bits. It's always a good time. <laughs> oh, this is, I was going to say it's the, the chicken enemy from before, but no, it's not quite. It's a clock boom. It drops bombs. <laughs> they're kind of difficult to get to if they're so high up like that, because... Yeah, you gotta do like backflips and spin, and you don't really want to jump into the pit of death. And I don't really know how. We go up. I was gonna say I don't know how you could really miss that particular uh, comet medal there, other than going into the black hole. But I mean, there's no. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Dang it! <laughs> but I mean that there is no way that you could possibly miss that. Oops, be via the camera angle or anything like that. So it's one of those sorts of things that you've only you're only gonna miss it if you're like, oh that that thing looks really intimidating to get. I am gonna leave that for some other later run. And, but really in reality you're gonna have to replay the level again later, so it's kinda pointless to leave any comment that you see behind if you're going for 100 percent So yeah, it's not really that hard to get. I just kinda got one of those enemy knockbacks into a pit thing. And you know, and you know that sort of thing that can happen. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this differently this time. I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> That's actually way better. There we go. Just don't don't even follow 
the sand treadmill. Just go for it. Just go s straight path between two lines. And oh shoot, no, 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 I don't want. Oh, whatever. I'm not knocked off the ground. <laughs> we got a fire flower. We know what we can do with it. We can we can light torches. We can kill enemies. But primary. Oh, there we go. That's the same. We primarily want to light those torches. Because that's what we get as a reward for doing so. Other than that, it's just kind of kind of there. <laughs> and obviously you're going to be squished by these if you're not careful. You want to kind of kind of be careful about this time. Just don't be too hasty with the blocks. They have a, a pinching effect and it's not not just like a gentle pinch. It's going to squish everything. <laughs> uh, anything hidden? Like, oh, I can't even change a the camera. Then I'll assume not. <laughs> <laughs> Bits. And oh no, not the sand slide. <laughs> oh no, not the sand slide. If you don't know the sand slide, we've got romps coming. They have a very generic smiley face, and uh, they they insta kill you because they're a squishing kind of enemy. Not that they're hard to avoid or anything like that. You just kind of zip between them, and you have plenty of look ahead, like many many seconds of look ahead, just by looking in between said romps, so yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to get by them, but yeah, if you're careless, I guess you might get squished. Oh, Starbits, Starbits, Starbits! Like, if you're distracted by Starbits, that is most certainly a thing that could happen, and this is getting narrow. Oh, man, this is getting narrow! This is not looking... Okay, we're good. <laughs> um... Stuff to refill our health, probably, because I do believe we've got a boss coming very soon. Uh, yep, yep. Whenever you see a hungry Luma, it means there's a Luma. Well, I should say a Luma shop, and it's well, it's, it's still a hungry Luma, but still, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. And this is it. The planet. Of, remember its name? Squizzard. <laughs> Going to the quicksand center and it's not gonna let us. Even though it'd probably be more conductive for him to actually eat us if he went to the center, not gonna let us. <laughs> so, we got a fire flower and it's got different music here going on. And what the? What the poop? What the poop? It's got- Oh, that's how you do it. His mouth has got to be open. I see. I see. Yeah, you basically just throw stuff at him until you see, hey, yeah, there's a vulnerable time for this guy, because otherwise he seems invincible, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not a very hard boss by any means, but it's a fun one. And I do believe there's a daredevil to do it with this one later on, too, like uh, all the other bosses, so uh, prepare your body for that by mastering him right here, right now. Just, just a matter of running away from the spike ball, oh, spike balls, and keeping your fire flowers afloat while you do. Oh, jeez! <laughs> while you do so, yeah. There's, there's gold spike balls too, and they spawn coins, of course. So it's not like they'll ever run out of health. <laughs> uh, a daredevil time, of course you will, but that's, that's a whole other story. Oh, oh, oh man, we're getting serious now. We've got the double cannons of death, which you can also blast away. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> They're just showing you you can blast them away, but well, oh shoot, that's getting a little too close to my own go, but that wasn't the right angle anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you can't actually go outside the border. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I've actually gone close to the border that I didn't really remember that. <laughs> yeah! Anyway, kill. Uh! Kill off those cannons before they cause you ire. There we go. And that's just gonna go. Yeah, that's pretty gonna hit me. But I just wanted to get my hits. Oh shoot! <laughs> my hits in. Yeah, I actually thought I was gonna go a little bit longer than where I was standing. But that's okay. This is all practice for the upcoming Daredevil, after all. <laughs> okay, incoming! Shoot! 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 Damn! Dang you and your briefly open gullet! <laughs> oh, oh no no no! We're not, not we're not we're not losing this. We're not losing this. Oh, we lost it. <laughs> so disappointing. <laughs> oh man, we'll get it though. We will get it though. Yes, this is looking good. Victory is mine. 
That's another relatively short level, especially since that boss battle could have gone a lot quicker. Is that star ever coming back to us? Yeah, yeah. But seriously, this boss is like a trap inch. If it would have just waited for me to get sucked in the middle, he would have been able to eat me without actually coming to the surface to battle me. Unless you thought, well, Mario's just gonna hang out on these brick or stone things that don't actually slide into there whatsoever anyway, so maybe that's what he was going for. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, star gets. Woo! And of course, one more star. <laughs> yeah, indeed! Yo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Go, 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 go! Click, click, click! We've seen this stuff all before! So go! <laughs> Gets a little repetitive when you do multiple parts and stars in a row. <laughs> Slips hand returns with another star. <laughs> and it is titled Sailing the Sandy Seas. This is going to have the return of something you know and love or loathe. It's kind of. It's. You'll see. It's. it's <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're all like back over here. Man. Yes. Well, at least we can play it as Ouija this time. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Bring this level on as Ouija. <laughs> Alright, so we're taking the same path. Or are we? Oh no, it's slightly different here. And that sand is pretty quick this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm primarily looking for this. Look how floaty Luigi's jump is compared to Mario. Definitely takes some. Oh, definitely takes some getting used to. I'm going upstream like the salmon, like I taught you. Eee, we need to get to the pipe. We need. There we go. <laughs> need that pipe. Yeah, unless you want to go all the way that way. I don't. I don't think you want to do that. No one wants to do that much uphill going. I don't think there's anything even up there anyway, because I don't think the designers intended you for, to be able to do that. Um, hmm, let's go this way first. Actually, I don't think the, the designers intended me to do intended me to do that. Uh, Spike beat. Oh shoot! That's right. The, uh, reverse. I mean, flip controls at the corners. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. See, there's a there's a thing going on here, and that's oh shoot that. I thought I was at the right time, but I was not. See, we're flipping the gap, the uh, background tiles there with the gravity, and that's how this place works. That's why I don't think the designers intended you to actually get up to that other side this way. Oh shoot! I wanted to jump off. <laughs> I just get burned all over the place. But there's plenty, plenty of uh, stuff to go by here, though. Um. Oh, that. That's not. Hmm. Uh, as you can tell, there's an orange pipe at the other way. Oh, maybe that's how they did intend you to get to that orange, because you would use that to flip around the gravity, I think. Because I believe there's a secret star going on here, if I recall correctly. You can see you're locked out from that orange pipe? Yeah. So I'm gonna save that, of course. Save that to puzzle for lit. Oh! That's actually not- <laughs> that, That's not a secret star, I must be thinking of something else! Okay, so now this is how you actually flip the gravity. So it wasn't a secret star, it's just a puzzle. <laughs> just a regular mandatory puzzle. You go down, there you go. <laughs> that, that'll do. That'll do. Don't go back the other way for the love of Arceus. <laughs> I don't think it would... Well, I don't, I don't want to say it would be faster just doing that. I mean, it probably would be. Because you'd have the power of the, uh... uh oh, actually, I just realized something. You wouldn't have still been able to do that if I would have did it the quote-unquote unintended way. Because the gravity was this way, you know, top to bottom. And then I would have still ended up in that... That swoopy area that, that, that I got locked into. So yeah, you do have to take the green pipe to have the gravity flipped on the other side. And then, uh, come out, you know, to drop down over to that platform that's spinning to flip the gravity over to how you want it. And then actually make it to the end of that particular segment. <laughs> Danger! Don't fall! This is, I believe it's insta-death sand. But, uh, so now we've got this thing. Doesn't it look familiar? Hmm, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it's basically the sand bird from Super Mario Sunshine, and its body vaporizes and reforms after it hits cacti. So you don't want to lollygag around in any sort of spot that looks like a cacti is coming towards you, your square that you're on. Just say. <laughs> oh shoot, and also don't don't lead the, the Kamak attacks to a place that they'll actually be able to take advantage of you. Uh, by blocking you into a corner or something like that. I do this and lead it off like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And as long as I'm just like not really... Well, not too far on one of these tippy-toe edges that I can't long jump across something or anything like that. That is one risky one up to get. Because if you get touched by one of the cacti, you'll probably get knocked off the sandbird entirely. Because you'll get that, you know, you'll be stunned from taking a hit and then you'll just... You should just kind of fall to your doom in the death sand. Uh, oh, shooty shoot! <laughs> this is. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. Ah, see, there's no way out of that. <laughs> I accidentally did a flipper. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. At least there's a checkpoint right here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the main focus of the level, I would say, is this particular segment, it'll probably take a couple of tries to do, because it is indeed tricky, especially since I dare to try it as Luigi, with his super slippery physics, but you know, that's a part of the challenge. I guess, if you think about it, that's, you know, you, you take the challenge on, and then you're rewarded with ghosts, like you know how you get a ghost unlock whenever you finish a level as Luigi? Yeah, so maybe that's how things have been designed. Like, you do do the harder version of a level with Luigi, and then you declare some sort of secret phone because you're, you're being hinted of it. <laughs> uh, that was a good lead right there. It only cut off the very edge. Should, should I actually try for that? I think I can actually duck. Yeah, you can duck to that edge. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's a little dicey to get, but I wanted to show it at least once that it is indeed possible, I guess. <laughs> I have the platforming skill-ish. <laughs> but not, not the confidence to do it consistently. <laughs> Alright, final, final run here. You gotta, you gotta go a silver chomp. I thought it was golden chomp at first, but we gotta lead it around while it's destroying our only means of survival. <laughs> this is diabolical. As soon as you can, long jump over to the platform and call it a day, because that's gonna sink into the sand. But the chomp, the chomp remains. All in its partially scratched glory. I would definitely polish that out if I was a chomp. <laughs> My, my OCD would be going crazy over the scratches. <laughs> that was fun, though. Woo! Only took two tries. And I even took more of a risk than I needed to with that that one up there on the second run. Yeah! Yeah! There's our ghost. <laughs> yeah! And with... Oh, oh, I was gonna say, and with that, I'm done. But <laughs> I'm not all that yet. It's still this, but... It might be a comet. You never know. Actually, I don't think there's going to be a comet. I think we missed... Oh, oh! I, oh, I don't have it clicked in all the way or something. Okay! The nunchuck is fully connected, or maybe it was just... Maybe there's dirt on the connectors or something. I don't know. But with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I explore... I don't, I don't know which is, which is closest. I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs>